Okay, you guys, so here we are at the GRE website, ets.org um, forward slash GRE, and then you would go in to log in. If you did not have an account, you would create an account. I already created a little template account for us so that we can get on logged in. Um, so let's go ahead and enter our information in. and go to the site. So this is it. This is how it comes up, you guys. So this is the homepage for the GRE. If you would have taken your test already, um, you would go here to view your scores and your score recipients. Since I have not taken a test um, with this template um, sign-on information, I don't have anything available to see or report. So that is there. And then you can send additional um, score reports to different schools. So this is where you would go again if you need to send more scores to other schools uh, for the $27 extra. All right, so here is where you would register and find test centers. You would click that um, and schedule your test so you would select the test. You're going to be taking the general test for the PA program. You're not taking subject tests, so do not get tripped up with that. Make sure you click on GRE general test or else you will be wasting your time taking a test that you didn't necessarily need. Um, and then just look for a location, right? I don't know, I'm just... Okay, let's go back to this place. And then find your available test centers and they will pop up wherever there are seats available. It will show you exactly um, in green and if there are no seats available, it shows you that in gray. And so you would literally just choose um, a day. Let's say I want to take it on the 17th of January. I'll go here, it pops up. Let me show all of the test times or the test time that's available. So you can take it here either at 7.30 or 12. Um, I've seen some centers that offer test dates of nine. Look at this one, this is a late one. 4.30. So let's just go with that. Say I'm coming off of work. Um, I'm going to register for that when I need to take it at 4.30. So here we are. Um, you would have, if you need any special testing accommodations, you would choose that there. Um, I wouldn't necessarily do that. But you go through and you answer all of the questions. Um, it will continue to take you to the next screen. Um, you just keep hitting next, make sure that all the information that you entered is correct um, because they're going to need identification uh, information when you actually get to the test center. But just read through, answer all your questions, and um, register for your test. You would have to pay for the test as well when you're registering for the test. So I'm going to go back to the home page. Um, here you will be able to see all of the tests that you've ever taken. Um, like I stated before, you, uh, you do not have to report all of your scores. So um, one thing about the GRE is it's, it has this thing called, um, what is it, score score select here it is so I went back to the general like overview page of the GRE like if you just type Jerry into um, Google or if you just go to Google and say ETS uh, in the in the search bar at ETS um, GRE this will you can come to this page so you go here it says send your only your best scores yes absolutely I only want to send my best scores so it's score select you literally, you do not have to report your score on the day that you take it. You can send your most recent, you can send all of them, um, or when you leave and you don't send any um, and you go back home, you can just send the ones that you want seen. You can go in and click and select the ones that you want seen by each school. So that is a great option because if you take 
the test three times and you only want them to see one of those scores because that score has is the best score that you've ever gotten then you can do so and you can do that with this score select option so that's definitely a great option for anybody that is um, planning on taking the test more than once you can take the test every 21 days um, so and up to five times in the calendar year so that is also important to know and uh, remember so I know that here on this website sorry, I just want to show you guys this that there are practice tests um, there are things that you can see for free and then there are things that you can um, actually pay for so here are some tools that you can log into your ETS account and preview the test here these are the options here but there are also other like test materials that you can you know practice and pay for and um, see exactly like what the test is like what the test is about so this website has some great options so it's definitely important that you guys navigate around and make sure that you know exactly um, how to take the test and what you want to do for the test so here it is let's go to the fees um, these are the fees all laid out so for America if you're here in the United States um, and also if you're in like Canada and you need to take the test um, anywhere but Australia and China obviously you your test will be two hundred and five dollars so you can go here if you let register late so there are options like uh, there are deadlines for certain registration dates so if you register late you'd have to pay a twenty five dollar registration fee if you uh, reschedule you'd have to pay a fifty dollar registration fee and for instance if you chose a test center that was way too far when we were going back over here on this page and we were trying to register for the test and we were choosing actual test centers to choose um, to take the test at if you had chosen one that was too far and you wanted to do one that was a little closer you'd have to pay um, fifty dollars in addition to what you've already paid which would have been that two hundred and five dollars so those are your different requests that you can do and there are options for that all in your general page which is where I was just at and here again here it is so it shows you all of your test prep stuff everything all everything that's free things that may cost you know forty dollars and here's some stuff the super pack that's seventy two dollars but you can go in go through and take the pay for these and get everything um, right there that you need to study for the GRE right here on the web page on their main page alright so I did want to show you guys that because that is that's important and nice to know that there are free options um, so and here it is this is where you would go to the free test prep stuff right takes us back to that page where we can get all of the different free things and then you can actually pay for your test prep and that's at this site as this um, side of the page as well okay all right okay so let's go back let's just head on back to that page so on the day of the test um, this is like a four hour test it's fairly long you are going to need ID you need your ID to get into the test because they don't want like some random person coming and taking the test for you and saying they're you and you know so like any cheating or anything like that so you will need your ID make sure you come to identification requirements so that you can see exactly what um, identification is allowed and what you will need on the day of the test because um, that is important so everything all your ID has to meet all of these requirements right here be the original government issued value valid full name photograph signature so um, like a passport will work as well if you don't have um, you know like a just a general ID card or a driver's license 
And then here, here are your unacceptable identification documents. So make sure that you go there and you see those as well. You cannot bring a credit card as you can at some other places or a social security card um, because, hey, your social security card does not have your photograph on it. So make sure that you know what your identification requirements are or else you will not be able to take your test. And then just understanding the test center regulations. So um, the different things that are allowed in the room and or not allowed um, in the room. So I know that I saw here, like there are some things, I think I saw like jewelry on here. Um, oh, you like you can only use, have your wedding band. Here we go. So jewelry is prohibited except for wedding and engagement rings. Do not wear other jewelry to the test center. So don't come up to the test center like all decked out with all your ice on your fingers and you know a big old necklace and all that stuff because it's not going to be allowed to go in. Um, just extra added stress on you having to take things off and all that stuff when you're just trying to stay focused for the test. So make sure you read all of these personal items that are prohibited or allowed um, on testing. All right, and that's it. I mean, guys, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty uh, easy to navigate. Once you have gone in and you've reported your test, like I stated, um, the day of the actual exam, that will help you not have to pay to send your test. Uh, because again, everything is $27 for each subsequent test that you need to send. So, and that's here, additional score reports per recipient, $27. So that's very um, beneficial for you to know, okay? So if you already have the information on what exactly you want to do with respect to what schools you want to send it to, the fact that you want to send it to CASPA, definitely go ahead, look that up and send it right then and there, or choose not to depending on um, if you want, if you didn't feel like you did well on that, ex that particular um, exam. All right, that is the GRE page in a nutshell. All right, you guys, so that was it. That was the website. Um, again, it is ets.org uh, forward slash still don't know forward slash backslash um gre so go there um just navigate play around with it use some of the tools that they have there utilize their practice tests that are free um you know we saw that there are some that you can pay for so utilize those as well if you need to just so that you can familiarize yourself with how the test will appear and how some questions are being answered or asked um and have fun you, you know it will be you're gonna have you're gonna be studying a lot but um at the end of it just go ahead and have fun and relax like don't stress too much uh it is just a, a test it's just a test um i have to tell myself that on a weekly basis in school so don't stress too much just plan 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 because the plans of the diligent lead to profit um thank you guys so much for watching uh if you have any more questions on the gre or anything else just leave that in the comment section below and if you already haven't done so go ahead and follow me on instagram at adana the pa all right i will talk to you guys next time bye